Yo, we're in the dungeon, aka my room. I was gonna say it's so messy, but it's just my recording stuff. Uh, bro, I went to sleep late. That's that's my my thing. I'm I'm gonna work on. I'm gonna record to keep myself accountable. I'm gonna start waking up early because I bro, I'll go to sleep at four and then try to wake up at like like five like nine. I I work out. I like I do a lot during the day. I need at least eight hours of sleep. So if I go to sleep at four, I'm waking up at one or twelve. <laughs> You know, and to be honest, I'm always like, go to sleep at 12, Christian. It's, I don't know why it's so hard for me. I just start doing stuff. I'm like, hmm, let me get on my laptop. Let me start making cookies. Let me like, it's because I'm in that, I've been in that groove of waking up late for so long. So it's kind of uh, tricky to break out of it, but no excuses. I'm going to document the time I wake up every day. I'm going to document it. I'm gonna document what time I wake up every day until I consistently get a time that I am happy with. That's a promise to myself. I'm not just saying this to be cool, I promise you. We're gonna record every day. I'm gonna write it on my board. Huh. Yeah, I wrote it down. Cause that is, that will elevate me and Help me because I realize I wake up at like one o'clock and I'm like trying to start that one o'clock is when I start my self-care routine. So I'm done giving myself time by like five o'clock, which is not ideal because people want to like see me. I need I have things to do before five o'clock compared to if I were to wake up at like eight, seven. And then I had I gave myself four hours of me time. I'd be free by 12, 12 p.m. Baby, 12 p.m. So we got to get that together. I'm literally just going to record myself to 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 hold myself accountable all right christian because you're not getting off easy bro it's summertime and you think you're just gonna lollygag around and play with your with your desk with your destiny you think you're gonna play with your potential what's up <sighs> surprisingly i woke up if I look Christy, I haven't went to the restroom yet because if I open my door, I'm going to wake up Rico and Pierre. So, like, I haven't um, put water in my face and, like, you know. But uh, it's 8.09 right now, and I woke up. I woke up at 7 or 6.50, and I actually felt like I could take the day on, but I was like, let me just take the extra hour. Good. Because I have an alarm for eight. So I was like, I'm going to just take the extra hour. When my alarm went off, I got up. I just made my bed. Because my problem is I could get up, but I want to go back in my bed. So... I am, I just made my bed right away, so I'm not tempted to get back in it. I'm probably going to eat something, though. Get, like, some work done. Probably finish doing my clothes, holding clothes. I have so much time now. It feels good. It's not like I'm waking up at 1 o'clock and I have to, like, you know, it's 8 o'clock. And I want to wake up earlier than 8. I mean, that 6.57 is like... So, yeah, but, um... I feel good. I feel good. My body feels good. Because I've been, um, uh, working out. So, I mean, I always work out, but I actually got rid of my backyard gym because I felt like it was holding me back because 
I was so isolated, so I realized I kind of bounce off people's energy. And not all the time, but sometimes, you know, like when I walk in the gym and I see people trying new, new exercises, I'm like, ooh, what is that? I want to try that. It gets me like inspired. Or if I see the people next to me like freaking just pushing themselves, it makes me like want to go hard too, the energy. So it's hard to create that sometimes by yourself. And it's just not as fun, you know. It used to be fun during, like, COVID when I had no choice but to work out alone. So I thought that me getting to the gym was going to be, like, how it was in the past, and it wasn't. Like, I thought it was going to be, like, how it used to be where I would walk outside and be, like, mid-summer 2020. It was just lit. Like, I was going through a breakup, too. But that was fueling me. I was trying to get right. And not that I don't have fuel now, but that was just the time. And I thought that it was going to be like that again. Mm -mm. I like the gym. Also, I had a squat rack. And like, you know what I'm saying? I could bench, deadlift, shoulder press, like all the main movements. But I didn't have any uh, like flies, like the isolation movements, which I my body really like. Leg curls, my body likes those isolation movements that just put a lot of weight on the muscle directly. So where am I going with this? Oh yeah, I sold my gym, so if I want to work out, I go to the gym. Uh, and what I'm saying is that I've been going harder because I have more equipment. I was kind of limiting myself. And then I wouldn't be as motivated, so I would just be done after and like, I would like sometimes do cardio because at the gym there's like the cardio machines they have the cool so I would do that but I don't have one here so we have a bike but it doesn't work anyways my point is um my body is just a lot tighter I've been doing a lot of abs like what the fuck That's just my stomach, so like, my whole body is just tight. I woke up, and uh, someone bought this bag. I've just been selling a bunch of stuff that I don't really need. This Telfar X East Pack. And I realized I haven't worn it. And I don't, uh, I don't, I don't plan on wearing it. Anymore, I buy I buy a lot of stuff, y'all, and then I just I get tired of it. Like I'm the type of dude I already know myself, bro. I give him I give my dad energy. Like we get stuff, get tired of it, and then switch it off, which is not bad. I feel like I like to keep things fresh, new. You know what I mean? So, anyways, I got that bag. I've used it, I feel like I've popped out with it enough. It's blue, I don't, I'm tired of it. Um, so I'm gonna sell it. Like, I'll buy something and then like, I'll wear it a couple times or use it a couple times and I'm like, okay. <laughs> you know what I mean? But it depends, if I really, really love it though, then I'll keep it for like, until the wheels fall off. But for that bag specifically, I don't really care about it and I want money. I, like, I, I'd rather exchange it for money, so I sold it. <laughs> Um, yeah, and I'm also going to sell this, my FTP bag, but I washed it because I didn't hand wash it and the back ripped, it's like ripped open, but yeah, you know, we wake up, we wake up, we make money, thank God, we wake up, we shake up, we bake up, we cake up, we wake up, I don't know where I'm going with that, but yeah, I'm gonna go get my day started. I'm gonna eat something. I don't know what. I don't know why, bro. I've been wanting to. Um, I don't eat McDonald's for real, but I look. You've been wanting a McGriddle or a sausage and muffin. That sounds so gas. My face is puffy because I just woke up. <laughs>